Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah and this is Bee Fly Beauty. Welcome to Skincare Week. So today, I just wanted to start off with some basic skincare stuff. Um, a lot of this stuff you guys are gonna know, but I just wanted to start by saying that taking care of your skin is just part of a healthy lifestyle. I think it's hard for us because we think this has to be some um, extravagant, detailed, tedious process to take care of our skin. It doesn't have to be that way. And I'm just talking about the skin on your face, neck, chest area. Thinking about right. it in the perspective of prevention is way easier than fixing things 20 years from now. So your skin is the biggest organ in all of your body. Your skin actually renews itself every 28 days. So a good tip is if you're gonna try a new product, to give it two life cycles. So that's about two months worth of trying before you decide it's good for you or it's not. When it comes to skin care, a simplified way of thinking about it, clean, moisturize, protect. And the biggest way to protect your skin is SPF. I know people are tired of me talking about this, but it is literally the number one way to prevent aging and wrinkles. That's it. SPF. The sun gives you the most damage and that is what causes wrinkles. So yes, you can buy your retinol. Yes, you can get your filler. Hello, got it. Um, but if you're not wearing SPF, the damage is going to continue, which is going to make your life harder as it goes along. Other healthy practices for your skin, getting enough sleep, right? This is part of a healthy lifestyle in general, but healthy sleep, healthy amount of sleep helps your skin. Drinking a lot of water, helps your skin. Getting exercise helps your skin. So all of those things are like basic stuff we should already be doing, but think about it as like cherry on top, right? It doesn't just help your heart and getting through your day, it also helps your skin. Eating healthy foods also helps quite a bit, like fatty fish, like salmon, avocados, walnuts, right? Those omega-3s, um, tomatoes, broccoli, sorry, Megan, um, sweet potatoes, so rounding out your diet with these things also helps to boost the health of your skin. A few more things to think about. The skin around your eye is actually the thinnest skin on your whole entire body. So I have this issue. I like to rub my eyes, which is why I don't even like, like lash extensions anymore um, for a number of reasons. But I like to rub my eyes um, and it just feels so good. But you have to be so sensitive and gentle with the skin on your face in general, but especially around the eyes. Also, um, I'm guilty of this. I love to take a steaming hot bubble bath every night, but that dries out your skin and actually strips your skin. So if you can wash your face with something less than fire, that would be great. And finally, read ingredient lists on anything that you are putting on your skin. We can ingest so many things through our skin. And I'm gonna talk about that tomorrow and the next day actually, um, well, the next few days. Um, what are some good ingredients to look for? What are some bad ingredients to stay away from? And again, you have to research what is best for your skin and decide for yourself. When you are reading ingredient lists, basic information is the very top is going to be um, the ingredient that's in there the most, the very bottom is going to be the least. So stay tuned tomorrow for the most common skincare mistakes and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot for watching guys, bye.